New techniques to diagnose dangerous Bartonella infections. Bartonella bacteria, which hide in blood, skin, and many other tissues, are known to contribute to a diverse range of human diseases, with symptoms including, but not limited to, swollen lymph nodes, joint and back pain, skin lesions, weakness, headache, dizziness, cardiac conditions, and psychiatric symptoms. Humans are exposed to Bartonella through contact with fleas, lice, sand flies, deer flies, possibly mites, spiders and ticks, and bites from infected animals. Patients with acute symptoms caused by Bartonella infections may be hospitalised. Acute infections may be found in endocarditis and possibly other conditions. For others, long-term persistent infections can develop due to the bacteria's ability to evade the body's immune response. Because of this ability to evade the immune system, Bartonella belongs to a group of microbes called stealth pathogens. Diagnosing Bartonella infection is notoriously challenging, relying on a combination of diagnostic tools that can miss the presence of this stealth bacteria. Developing reliable diagnostic methods is vital for detecting Bartonella and beginning treatment promptly. Towards this aim, Dr. Marna Erickson from the University of Minnesota and T-Lab Incorporated in Maryland, Dr. Lynn Bemis from the University of Minnesota Medical School, and their collaborators have been developing innovative technologies to more reliably detect Bartonella infections. Their advanced imaging techniques use special stains to color distinct parts of skin tissue samples, which can then be viewed in high resolution using powerful microscopes. They couple these imaging techniques with advanced molecular methods to confirm the presence of the bacteria. Dr. Erickson, Dr. Bemis and their collaborators obtained skin samples from patients with existing Bartonella infections to develop their diagnostic techniques. In addition to physical symptoms, some of these patients suffered from a range of treatment-resistant psychological and neurological symptoms. Some patients also developed skin lesions on their legs, arms or backs. The researchers' findings suggest that the bacteria disrupt the structural skin component, collagen, causing scar-like stripes to appear. These Bartonella skin lesions look similar to harmless stretch marks. To distinguish them from stretch marks, the marks caused by the bacteria are called Bartonella tracts. Because of the difficulties in detecting Bartonella infections, many of the bacteria's negative health impacts may still be undiscovered. By applying their diagnostic techniques to malignant melanoma cells, Dr. Erickson and Dr. Bemis found that Bartonella infection may contribute to the development of this cancer. A combination of genetic predisposition and sun exposure have been recognized as causative factors for malignant melanoma. However, scientists have also suspected the involvement of environmental triggers, such as Bartonella. The team's discovery of the involvement of Bartonella could be key to better understanding the development and progression of malignant melanoma in some patients.